Hello, thank you for joining us. I'm Brad Edwards. We appreciate you streaming with us here at CBS News Chicago. We are here for a very important conversation. We are talking kids, we're talking the flu, we are talking boosters and COVID-19. For that, we turn to a longtime friend of the stream and, and experts in, in all things we just mentioned, Dr. Katrine Wallace. She is an epidemiologist and adjunct professor at the University of Illinois Chicago School of Public Health. Dr. Katrine, also known by many as Dr. Cat, bit of a superstar on TikTok. Dr. Cat, Dr. Katrine, thank you for joining us. First question is let's two birds with one stone. When it comes to the flu vaccine and a COVID shot or COVID booster, can you do them both in the same day? Is that recommended for kids? It is absolutely fine to get both of your shots on the same day. You can get them in different arms if you want to, but it is really important to get both. So it's probably easier just to do them both at once. Can you mix and match when it comes to makers and COVID boosters? Yeah, we've been getting this question a lot. A lot of parents want to know if it's okay to mix and match like Pfizer and Moderna if their child had a Pfizer primary series if they have to stay with Pfizer, if they have, if they can change to Moderna. And it is completely what? fine to, <clears throat> to mix and match brands. You can get whatever you want. And my recommendation is actually just to get whatever is first available to you. Just make the appointment and they're all very good. They've all been cleared by the FDA and the CDC. Can you get the, the bivalent, this, this newest yeah. booster? So, you can get so after your last shot whether it's a booster or your primary series you have to wait two months between the last shot and getting this bivalent booster and then right now we're looking at kids 5 to 11 particularly right. for this booster when might it be available for all children uh, five and under so this is a question I've been getting a lot, and we actually don't have any updated timelines on children under five. All I know is that the two sponsors, Pfizer and Moderna, have begun trials in this age group, but we don't have any timelines as of right now. So some parents might be wondering, you know, do I need to get my primary series after all, or can I just jump to this new bivalent, which covers in part COVID-19, you know, previous iterations and the Omicron. Can I just jump to that or do I have to get my primary series first? Yeah, this is a great question. And especially because only 30% of kids in the U.S. 5 to 11 have gotten their primary series. So that is really important. And you cannot get the bivalent booster that's targeted for the strains that are circulating now, unless you have a primary series first. It, it works like that. You have to have the primary series as kind of the building block, and then the booster is on top of that. So it's really important to get your child the primary series of COVID-19 vaccine, and then you can get the booster two months later. Okay, so when we're talking primary series, when we talk efficacy, Pfizer or Moderna, which through data is, is proving out to be better? So they're both really effective vaccines, and they're actually both very similar vaccines. They're both mRNA vaccine technology. So it really is down to whatever would be available to you is a good vaccine to get. They're both doing a great job at protect, protecting children against severe illness, and it, they're both really effective. I mean, it is the season for all things sniffles and sneezes. Uh, what is, is your advice as we get going into prime time here? And, you know, people are thinking flu shot, COVID shot. I mean, there's so many shots, so many things to worry about yeah. right now. Um, what do you say, you know, to not only ease parents' fears, but also to, you know, encourage and, and, and embolden them to, 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 you know, mitigate potential matters before they happen? So it's, it is really important to get, I know people probably feel like there's a lot of shots happening, but 
just to be clear, this bivalent booster is really important because this is the first time since the vaccine has been introduced that they've actually changed the formulation of the vaccine to specifically target the strains that are circulating now. And that's, that's really important for community transmission and for your own individual health. So that's, that's first of all. And then the flu vaccine is important also because we have seen that the Southern Hemisphere who has their winter when we're having our summer, they had their worst flu season in years this year. So if that's any predictor of how ours is going to be, it's really important to get those shots into arms before Halloween to make sure that we're all protected against the severe consequences of influenza as well as COVID. Okay. More than a quarter million people know her as Dr. Kat, Dr. Katrine Wallace, a friend of the stream, epidemiologist, adjunct professor at the University of Illinois, Chicago. We thank you for joining us and we will certainly be talking to you in the very near future. Thank you so much for having me. All right, Dr. Katrine, our appreciation is always on the stream. I'm Brad Edwards. That does it for us. Now back to the stream. <laughs>